Hi, my name is Colleen Wilhide, and today I'm excited to show you some new features and enhancements within the no-code AI app builder. Clicking applications on the top level navigation brings us to a list of all the existing applications as well as the relevant metadata associated with them. You can see that we have the template options displayed clearly for you to choose between which best suits your needs and that it's easier than ever to search, filter, and sort to find a given app. So we can search here by name, we can select who owns it, and we also can sort by a variety of different options. By selecting open, we have the ability to go into both build and consume mode and easily switch between them. This will make it easier than ever for users to build and iterate on scenarios and hypotheses that they're running down within the app, as well as make quick changes per feedback from their organization. Next, let's check out the latest changes on the what if and optimizer widgets, which are the constraints some of features and optimizer algorithms. Let's go into build mode. And we're gonna switch to the one row view, which I have renamed applicant information since it's viewing details about one particular applicant. And we're gonna scroll down here and click into the what if and optimizer. I'm gonna go to properties and you can see here that I need to enable the scenario optimizer. And then down below here, these are the new features that we are gonna take some time and examine today. So first, I'm gonna to toggle on the constrained sum of features. And you can see that I still need to select uh, the sum of features. So I'm going to click into select here and toggle both of these and hit save. I'm gonna go up to the maximum and hit save again. Now let's go to user mode and create a new row. So I'm going to put 1,000 here and 35,000 here and hit add. And we'll just wait for it to run the simulations for me. And I'm interested in looking at it here. So you can see that none of these are greater than 35,000. So next, if we go back to build mode, let me go back in here, we can also set equal to. So let's try for same number here, save. We'll go back to consume and create. So I'm gonna do the same here, hit add. And you can see here that these are equal to uh, 35,000. So the last thing that I wanna show, going back into properties of the optimizer, is that now we can see if we select optimizer algorithm, we have three different options here. So you can select grid search, particle swarm, or hyper opt. Um, where you can also add in the number of simulations. Thanks.